What's up, everybody? Brett here, back today, playing some more Loop Hero. Wow, picking up where we left off last time after yesterday's just marathon episode where we accomplished so much. We unlocked so many new cards and buildings. We beat the Priestess, which was amazing, with the Rogue, no less. I wasn't sure if the Rogue would be able to do it, but we just bursted down everything so quickly. It was, it was really impressive. And then today... I want to just do a couple forays into chapter 3, which, as far as it looks, it may be the final chapter in the game. And I do I think we're anywhere near strong enough to take it on? No. No, I think we're going to need to upgrade a lot more stuff. Uh, but I'm willing to try. And we do have new cards to use. Go ahead and equip our basic warrior gear. We have the arsenal here, which will give us an additional item slot. Don't know what it'll be. Uh, lowers item quality by 15%. I do not care however I'm gonna put it right here and we got a helmet this is the first time we've ever had the helmet unlock interesting and we got an exquisite mirror for our trouble so redirecting lightning um yeah a helmet Retaliation damage. I like that. I like thorns. So we saw it playing as the rogue. Uh, we unlocked the necklace. I'm wondering what playing as the necromancer will unlock for us. Armor, maybe. I don't. I don't know. But we'll test that today too. We'll we'll have an answer for you for sure. Because I sure as hell want to know. Different helmets. Cool. And I'm starting to think that these two right here just belong to an as-of-yet-undisclosed uh, character that's not in the game. Maybe an archer or something. It's a belt, and it looks like maybe a quiver. So I'm starting to think that's a thing. So here's one of the new cards. Soldiers from this outpost are always glad to help a traveler. Not for free, though. Spawns an assistant on the adjacent tiles. All yellow and orange items dropped in the battle will be spent as payment. So this is, I think, way better for something like, I'm going to put it here, way better for the rogue. I think the rogue doesn't suffer any penalty from this, unless I'm mistaken. So here's my guard. My bro there. We're going to look a little bit more at his stats. Once we can kind of get into it. Thicket placement doesn't really matter. But we're going to make this a pretty scary area because we're going to have the outpost to help us. And just hope that we don't get our loot stolen. Often. I mean, it, it'll steal it every time we get it. Yeah, I don't know if I can recommend this without playing as the, uh, the rogue. Maybe even, like, a bit of a mistake, really. Like, I would, I would go so far as to say that. Okay, we'll take a ring. Want to see some early villages? Could have done a little bit more deck adjustment. Um, let's... Let's put this here, because I think the warrior handles the battlefields really well, and we don't have the battlefields, I don't think, in the this current deck build. There's so much more that we actually have to consider now that we've never really had to consider before. Put that guy there. Okay. Old frying pan. Nice get. We're just going to get another 15 HP whenever we pass. I'm putting my stuff in a line here because I think I'm going to burn it all whenever I get my first storm temple. And we're just going to convert it all into some serious magic damage. Attack speed is good and all, though. We could, I mean, we could always not do that. 
Always happy to see an early game Oblivion too, just in case we feel the need. Um, and you know what? I'm actually going to place a forest here as well. That way if I want to put a blood grove somewhere near here, I'll have the option. And that can help us deal with some much stronger enemies that we're going to place there eventually. Alright, another meadow. And I'm kind of going to do the same thing here. And I'll probably put a few in different spots. But for the most part, I think I'm going to make some lines of forest. That way, if I feel like burning them, I can. Wow, and our first non-level 1 bit of loot here. Okay, we're going to put this here. Yeah, we had to drink our first potion, sadly, but that's what they're there for. Alright, level 4 ring. I can already tell I'm going to be aggravated when these things start stealing my loot. And finally, a decent weapon. Now, what I'm wondering is whether or not it'll show me that they steal my loot. Well, not steal it, but they take it as payment. I don't want to mischaracterize their uh, their actions there, but whether or not it'll be like here, here's your loot, and then it'll, they'll instantly take it as payment. That I don't know. Hmm. Put some vampires there. I'm looking to get a village. Well, I'm looking to get a bunch of villages, really as many as I can get. So far, things aren't going terribly. You know what I haven't done, guys, and I apologize? I have not looked to see what the bonus abilities are. Because now that we're in Chapter 3, everything's got more abilities. So let's take a second here. Sticky body. Attackers get the thick slime effect. Minus 10% damage to the end of battle. Ugh. That's not good. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to make sure we look at that in a second here. Put that there. Put this here. Come on, gang. Give me the fat loot. Let's see some good helmets. Alright. Finally got a village. That's good. And even an additional wheat field. That's great. Put that there. still a normal village. I don't know why sometimes it converts and sometimes it doesn't. Maybe I'm missing something. Probably am. Remember at the end of the last episode too, we also built the war camp, which just straight up gives us 4% uh, additional strength. Whatever that means. I don't 100% know. Alright, Storm Temple. Okay. So the idea was basically to put it here. I don't know, I thought I could put it next to the the road, but I can't. Otherwise, I would have put it like he well, I don't know, I don't know where I would have put it. I was thinking about burning this, but I wanted to catch like two sides at once, but I'm not gonna be able to do that. I think I am happy to do this though. And we got a bunch more resources out of that, and now we also do three additional magic damage. I mean, that's not huge. We will get some of that attack speed back. And now we do have lightning on the entire bottom row. Which would be helpful if I can populate it with, you know, a lot of very numerous types of enemies. Spiders come to mind. Goblins. That's when it favors me. I do have the mirror too, but 6% chance is like garbage. Alright, hold on. This is an amazing upgrade for us from level 1 to level 5. It just shows you how much we're kind of getting screwed on loot as it is. Alright, and we made a, a bad village. 
put that there. Let's just start getting more and more attack speed. Take the level 5 basic. And a flesh golem has spawned. Alright, that's a good haul. Ooh, I've been forgetting. Okay, so scare away. Banishes a random enemy at the start of battle. Oh my god. Well, that helps. And like, banish the vampire for me. Interesting. I mean, it kind of sucks if I don't get the loot from it. But it doesn't suck that much. This new helmet, 16 retaliation damage as well as 7%... Is it 16 static? You say, yeah, it's not a 16%, it's a static 16. That's excellent. I think we've already met. Out of the way, I must... Wait a minute, why do you look like me? Oh, I'm a big fan of yours. The trees talk so much about you. They even made me in your honor. I'd be glad to get out of your way, but I'm afraid I can't walk. You see, I've grown here, literally. I see. Cut me down, cut me down. I don't want to put you to work, but it's really the only way. But cut harder, because I'm going to fight back. What? I'm very sorry, but the forest saw how you fight, so it's part of me too now. Believe me, I don't want to hurt you, but I can't go against the will of the forest. If you say so, is this a good place to cut? So his last deal is hardening. Gets one defense for three seconds after being hit. The effect can stack. He also counterattacks me every time. Man, look at the counters. Alright, let's see what our first trait is after we read this. Well, I wasn't expecting this type of gratitude from the world for remembering it, just as I wasn't expecting such a nice talk with a piece of wood. He was a nice guy. May his ashes rest in peace were his cinders. Alright, what do we got here? A resurrection charge, never bad. Dominant mass damage is increased by 20% of defense value. Um, hold on. Am I getting defense value from the helmet? I am not. So, that's not going to help me play a role. The hero rushes into battle head-on, and his first attack has a 75% chance to stun each enemy. I like that. There's definitely a stun build here that I've seen. Aw, oh, man. If I get something rare from that flesh golem, those dudes are going to take it. I could always oblivion it, but the whole point was for me to test them out. I just need to remember not to use outposts unless I'm playing with the rogue. Alright, that's a good time to get a shield right before I go fight the golem. And some more evasion. I wish we had a treasure trove pretty early to, to work towards. Alright, help me out, buddy. They don't have, like, taunt. That sucks. I feel like these guys should take the hit for me, too. Yeah, and they took, they took the gear. And we did get the treasury. Awesome. Asked and answered. Yeah, he went to get me some rare, very rare loot, and it got swiped. It's alright, we'll get more opportunities. Saw that stun land, that's cool. Place that there. Keep too many guys from spawning here. Damn, I forgot to look what the last ability was on the Flesh Golem. It's alright. I'll remember at some point. And the Wolf Rats, too. We need to see what the Wolf Rats do. And what about these guys? Bloodthirst. 20% of Vampire's damage is dealt to all creatures that have the living attribute. So if we place them with, like, goblins or something, it'll help kill the goblins. This is kind of funny, because the, the Scarecrows and the Vampires are kind of starting to work against... The things we're fighting against. So it's almost like if I want to mess the AI up, I need to place either a vampire or a scarecrow with them, if possible. Yeah, scarecrow just insta banished them. 
Yeah, I don't know if I get any benefit from that, though. I don't think I do. Do I get experience? I need to watch and see if the experience ticks up whenever it does its banish. Guy's getting his defense up. Yeah, I'm worried we're not going to make it another round. Good stun. We do not have a resurrection. And we we now don't have a potion either. Ugh. We are just plain old not strong enough, I think. Yeah, we'll spawn the goblin camp. I don't I don't think we're gonna make it another round. I don't know what could happen here, but Yeah, that's I mean even that triple wolf rat tile it's probably that's gonna kill me for sure what do you guys do now nimble ignores damage to all Ugh, so you got to kill them one by one now and another outpost I don't know exactly where these guys are spawning yeah I think I think the rogue is just the ticket let's just run let's retreat before we lose everything we have the ability to upgrade, what is this, the field kitchen? Gives us an additional slot. You know what, let's do that. Let's make a little progress. Congratulations, hero. These new cauldrons will make life better, not just for you, but for the whole camp. You can write down a new recipe to celebrate. Mix four chopped potatoes, half a grated cheese wheel, a pot of sour cream, and then bake for an hour. Only fried eggs are easier to cook than this. Got it. Potatoes are gratin. Nailed it. Um, and if we go to... Do, 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 what was I even thinking about? Click off of that. If we go to our supply, we did not get an additional supply slot. Hmm. I'm going to take this over. Can I... I can't remove stuff? Oh, okay. I was about to say. Alright. I like getting the knife. But I wish I could unlock more food slots. I thought that's what we did, just unlock. But maybe all we unlocked is the outpost. Maybe all we unlocked was new recipes for crafting. I still don't want to use these ingredients until we get to a point in the game where I can't really upgrade stuff much. And then I can just spam out as much of that stuff that I, as, as I want, really. Go on another expedition. Let's keep the same build. Because I think this was designed for a rogue in mind. I don't know why... I, I didn't think this through all the way, but let's try with the... You know what? I really want to see what the Necromancer does. Is there any way, like... Let's take out... Let's take out the outpost. And let's add in... Knowing how the Vampire Mansion and the Wheat Fields interact, is there anything unique we can do? We could bring in the Swamp. I wish I could bring multiple of these. Let's just take the arsenal. I kind of want the cemetery too. What else could... What could I leave behind for that? We don't want the forest, but we do want the desert, I think. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's try. Necromancer with an extra item slot. See what we could get up to. And it's a shield. So we get the benefit of defense. Interesting. I wonder if defense works with... If it works with magic HP. Or if it only works with regular HP. These slimes are crushing my little skeleton boys. Region and skeleton level. I mean, that's... This is the type of, like, extra push we needed. 
And we'll start lowering creatures HP, I suppose. Start placing a grove. We'll build one here. And could put the vampires with them. So that the vampires cause them to take extra damage. Because the groves tend to fill up pretty heavy. Alright, we'll take our first bit of magic HP. And also that knife I just equipped is probably useless for the Necromancer as well because he doesn't do his own damage. Tiny, tiny little things worth considering if I was ever trying to like put together an optimal run. Alright, finally got our own Grimoire. Some decent regen early on but we haven't taken any HP damage. Bonus one to skeletons is nice. I consider that probably the most desirable trait we could pick up and like maintain for the rest of our run. If Nimble ignores damage to all, it looks like he's getting hurt. I was going to say, are, are the wolf rats uniquely invulnerable to the vampires? Because that would suck. Alright, Ruins. You go over there and don't touch anything. If you're wondering why I'm building this L-shaped pattern, it's just in case I get a bunch of meadows, I have something to put it against. I have more surface area. And then I can build inwards. So if I just got like three meadows, I'd go boom, boom, boom. You know, or I could put them with the deserts. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Let's put this out here, and we'll start building towards that. Alright, there goes our magic HP, but we are healing. I guess I'll just take the level 2 stuff. Come on, don't let him get away. Nope, got away. Need to look and see what their last ability is too. Alright, could really use a village now. Come on, guys. Take something out. Anything. We're already drinking potions. I'm gonna wait till after this battle. Pause. Yeah, that was rough. That battle felt like pretty much necromancers in a nutshell. I'm gonna keep the max skeleton for now. Hope that we can regen up before stuff gets too spooky. Alright, our first blood grove, we're going to put that there. Put this grove here. What are you giving? 
more skeleton level. I'm gonna keep the max skeletons. We're kind of closing in on our first attribute, our first trait. And this I feel like is certainly one of those cases where the stats attached to the shield is more important than the, the baseline defense it gives me. Because most of the time I'm not even going to be the one taking the damage. Yeah, that's pretty garbage. We don't, we don't care about that. The swamp here. Go ahead and put that down. This could be scary. What's their third ability? Desperate. Unit's damage value is multiplied by a percent of its missing HP. Oh my god. We gotta kill these things quick. The more I play this game, the more I realize the rogue is just like... Perhaps the best character. Its ability to one-shot stuff... Is incredible. Alright, that's a huge upgrade. Alright, let's look at this first. Time flies 50% faster or... Plus 2.5... Plus, uh, there's a big difference between what I said and the reality. Plus 0.25 to skeleton's level for a loop, starting from the loop. Yeah, we got this early enough. I think it's okay. And we'll take that. Come on, man. Give me a village. Another oblivion I don't hate. We don't have any forests here, so we can't make like a synergy with the blood grove and allow it to like eat other stuff. Do I want to make a goblin camp? I can, just because... Ooh, what a rough spot. Let me get a lantern or something so I can limit the amount of dudes there. Literally the exact same ring. From level 1 to level 2. That's not cool. Finally a village. Okay. Happy, happy to see that. And if we get a bandit camp, I guess the bandits spawn in the village. That's right. They're not. They're not going to help me. Uh, the scarecrows aren't going to help me get rid of them. I'm really like racking my brain trying to think of how I can use the fact that the uh, those guys now banish. Ooh, what a good shield! It looks cool too. They even give them their own unique shields. Okay. Yeah, this is what I asked for and I got it. So I'm going to place it. Slightly better shield. Okay. I can't really memorize what they all do. Like, cause the rings that have the same aesthetic do the same thing, just at a bigger level. But I can't, I can't ever remember that. So if I want to place a swamp here, I can turn this into a goblin outpost. But I don't know if there's any real benefit to doing that. Or if it's all just bad for me to do that. I'll put a grove here. And then we'll start making another grove somewhere else. So we can use this blood grove. Well done. I like the shield we currently have. I, th I think it's a little bit better. That's a good upgrade. That's kind of how it always feels with the Necromancer. It's like... Everything feels like it's going great until all of a sudden it's not. Should have waited to place this until we passed the village so we could get a higher tier of loot. That's alright, we'll start summoning gargoyles, that's fun.
We're getting increased HP, but they're getting less and less. Haven't faced a mosquito in a while. What do you get? So we knew about foresight, but hardening... Okay, so it gets hardening. Same as the, uh... The training dummies. See if we can actually kill those scorch worms this time. Yeah. They're comparable. I'm barely I'm barely taking any damage at all. I don't know how much the extra, like, 40 or whatever magic HP is going to matter. I'd almost rather take a little bit of HP damage. That way it'll at least make our region relevant. Uh, actually, now that I say that, our region's only at... Is only at one a second. Man, having a third skeleton is just so good. I don't know if I can justify getting rid of that even for these stats. I feel like the answer is no. Okay, bigger shield. I'll take that. And I want to put this vampire mansion down somewhere. Getting close to our next level as well. Alright, level 6 is probably too good to pass. And another ye old swamp. Where will I place vampires? I kind of still like putting them here. And you see the vampires are hurting them. But they're also getting the life steal, so Tuh. I don't know. It really is balancing out, I guess. I'm gonna say just get these kills, kill these wolf rats first, and then we can worry about the vampire after. Happy to see another village. We get bandits and even more thralls. I just made this whole area much more difficult than it was before. I have the option to get rid of the bandit camp and the goblin camp if I would like. Let's see what this is before I keep going. So we know what card sharp does. Residual heat receive plus three times the loop HP after skeleton's death. After hero receives direct damage, all skeletons have a 50% chance to immediately Perform a counterattack. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Happy to see a treasury. Probably put it right there. Okay, and it instantly gave me a bunch of land to put around it. I kind of wish I was keeping track of the HP of everything, too. That way we can kind of see just how much it is or isn't affecting things. Alright, goblins. Y'all kill me literally every time. See if I can make this work. Oh, I forgot to check what the goblins' new abilities were. Okay, we'll catch them next time we come around. Because this is a little scary right here. I think these guys might actually kill me. They had some sort of confusion. I think after we kill the leader, maybe, the little goblins get confused. I think that's what happened. Let's try it. Whatever. For fun. Okay, protect it. 33% chance to forward a direct damage to a random ally. That's cool. I mean, it's... it's I mean, it's, it's, it's a net positive for the goblin leader. But, at least the damage isn't, like, wasted. It still goes somewhere. Increases the attack speed of all allies by 15%. That sucks. Um, 
Confusion. 30% chance to be idle for 3 seconds after an ally dies. That's huge. These guys got debuffed so heavily. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't suffer at that time. Come on, let's get these kills. Alright, I'm glad I didn't use an Oblivion now. And we got an additional uh, village to mess with. And our first Storm Temple. Okay. So, village... I'm going to place it here. There's probably no, like, wonderful spot to put this. This is... It's just some mediocre spots. If we thought we were going to the boss and we wanted to make sure that we had this available during the boss battle, then this would be a good spot. Or the other. Like this, or like this. I kind of want this wherever the groves are. Like right here. I'm going to put it here. And if I get another one, I'll put it this way. But this is looking horrifying. Alright, mosquitoes, what do you have? Overeating. Explodes after 7 successful hits. 200 damage to everyone. Or predictable. Has 20% chance of missing regardless of target's evade value. That's great. It's so funny, once they got their third abilities, they all got basically weaker. What a strange, like, twist to put. So here, we're gonna upgrade this to the Goblin Lookout just to see it. And let's get some meadows. Some mountains. Oh yeah, I'm pretty scared. There's some gnarly fights up ahead, it looks like. The counterattack is nice, but I don't know if it's enough to save me. Put that there. Alright. Them having an elite ghoul feels pretty rough. Untouched Brain. 20% chance to be fully revived from his corp corpse after 7.7 7 seconds. That is not a downgrade. That is an upgrade to these dudes. So these guys are way scarier. But the vampire is going to just be hurting them the whole time. Oh no, they all died. Alright, please don't come back. It feels so bad not having any control over what everything attacks. And getting the counterattack off while I've got three skeletons on board. Definitely pretty sweet. Man, how bad would we feel if the uh, the elite ghoul came back to life? Whew, okay. Well, we did it. Get some wheat fields there. Put that there. Get that there. Because we still have some tough fights ahead. He's going to kill someone. He killed... Oh, I didn't see... I wasn't looking at the experience. Damn it. He killed the vampire. I was kind of hoping he would kill the harpy. Oh my god, please survive. Because I might just turn in after this. And then come back and try to do this with the rogue. The lightning, very effective against these, you know, big, big armies. Alright, we got a lot of tiles to place. How much HP do these guys have? Not a lot. 165. We survived. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna keep my finger here on the trigger in case we want to leave. Okay. 
Whew. I'll place that there. Wheat field here. Meadow there. Let's see what we get. Hope you get something good. I mean, that's great. Happy to see that kind of rarity. Could really use a solid amulet. Keep lowering HP. I'm sure it affects my skeletons as well. Hmm. I'll just place that. Alright, we passed our chance to leave. I'm hoping we can get through it. The double flesh golem has me pretty worried. And I really don't like only having one region per second now that we are hurt. Oh, and look at the huge amount of Scorch Worms we're going to have to fight. I might just want to get rid of those. Yeah. Later, man. I think we could, we could beat them, but barely. Just sucks because they're one of probably our best sources of best sources of damage. Oh, not damage. Brain keeps going blank. I had a long day. Best sources of loot. I guess they're considered just a higher tier creature. All right, this is terrifying too. We might honestly want to just get rid of that as well because that's two keep in mind that's two golems a vampire a bat is there any chance these are better no I could put another road lantern here and it would make something here disappear. Take away one of those guys. Um, I really wanted to fake this, but this is too much. That'll, that'll kill me 100%. And that turned this into a hungry grove. Occasionally attacks the hero, 23 damage. Devours enemies that have less than 20% HP left. And I can just go ahead and put a grove right back. And that'll convert it back into a blood grove. Interesting. We probably just discovered two new uh, things in our encyclopedia in this run. A dark slime? That's a new enemy. Cosmic. Chilling touch upon dying stuns opponent for three seconds. That's bad. And then ambush. Creature's first strike is always a critical hit. Bonus to its attack speed and it has vampirism. That's not cool. I need more big skeleton boys. Or I don't know if we're making it out of this one. I will say though, with the additional item slot, I think the first two chapters are going to just become almost like child's play. I don't want to get too cocky, but... Like, if we could beat it without a whole additional item, I, I think there's very little chance... That it would give us much trouble now. Alright, goblin spawning up here is not bad. Alright, and now goblin archers. Every creature's attack increases its damage by 1.8 until the end of battle. That's horrible. For us. And then friendly fire. 30% chance to attack ally. That's cool. If he actually attacks the ally. If he attacks me, I'm screwed. Looks like we're about to die here with no potions. Yeah, we're dead. That's alright. I mean, that was meant to be kind of more of a learning excursion. It would have been nice to get out of there with more loot, obviously. But if we go to the encyclopedia, we discovered... So there's only one road tile that we haven't messed with. There's four roadside tiles. I'm counting them right. Four landscape tiles. One special and two golden cards that we haven't seen. What's the new one? 
Ah, the Goblin Lookout. That was new. And then was there something else new? No. But we did discover at least... Was it one new enemy type? We discovered the Goblin Archer. That was one. Feel free to take a second and read that if you would like. And then the Dark Slime. Being one of the few indigenous species of these strange times, the Dark Slime feels very much at home in the ruins of the Forgotten World. Oh, whoa, I just noticed this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see what this does. I have not messed with this yet. An empire, uh, an enemy that we fight quite often is the vampire. And if I can unlock another article, I don't know if this is going to give me some benefit while fighting them. Or just more lore. Scholar is something that we unlocked. Mutual benefit is a cornerstone of civilization. People from faraway lands couldn't believe that we were living under a vampire's protection. No one even remembers when the first contract was signed. Vampires protect us from monsters and give us new knowledge. Under their rule, our cities are thriving. Of course, some villagers go missing from time to time, and there is an occasional village full of ghouls, but it's a small price for such generous gifts. Okay, let's... We got an achievement for that. I've got a ton... Of, I've got, well, five of these. And I know how to get more. A few days ago, the villagers sent Dudley to the Count to solve an argument about two cows. Poor Dudley never knew that people don't come back after an argument about two cows. Oh, Marius, I can't wait to see the left wing of the castle finish. The workers became too slow. Guess I was too soft on them. They kept complaining, even if I only eat one or two of them a month. I've sent the last one to the village to get some more men. Okay, so I mean, we unlock these articles, but what do I really get? I was hoping that by doing this, I might get some advantage against them in battle. It looks like their portrait turned gold. I mean, that's... I mean, okay. I was hoping it would be like, alright, you do 5% more damage versus vampires, and then you unlock another one, and it's like, okay, vampires start with 10% less HP, you do another one, and you know, so on and so forth for every enemy, and might, they might have their own thing. Otherwise, I'm, I don't know if the lore is enough of an incentive for me to keep doing that. I'm a guy who likes to read the lore, and I don't know if that's enough for me to want to keep doing that. I mean, if it's a resource that's only good there, then, you know, why not, but... Still, it feels a little crummy in terms of reward. Uh, these, I am not close to at all. The river or the bridge. And the lumberjack takes a lot of metal. Hmm. Unlocks the ability to craft furniture. I don't know how great that is. Would like to get some watchtowers at some point. They're a little expensive, but it's more of the basic materials. But I still need so much metal that I, I don't think I can afford to make them quite yet. Um, to upgrade, something I wanted to see. if Is there an upgrade to the war camp? And what is it? Just an extra item slot. And I guess we get another 4% to our strength. So we would go up to, you know, 8% bonus strength. Oops. Always forget to click that way. Expedition. Next would be next one up would be the rogue to try. The rogue is definitely the character to use the outpost with. Take that off. I still don't know how this how this works. I might just look that up. That way we're not like floundering around. We don't want the battlefield. Let's take those off and play the cemetery. Let's just do one more run for fun. I'll be honest with you guys, like I said, I've had a long day. My brain is a little bit fried. I've been cutting my grass and just going on nice long walks in the sun. Kind of hard to come inside after that and then...
play video games, but... I also have, like, a four-page paper to write tonight. Which is also sort of weighing on my mind. As it should. Okay. This is sort of an interesting... sort of linear. I can get a lot of value out of the Storm Temple if I think it's better for me than for the enemy. I'm not using the Blood Drove here, so I think the forests are just good for just getting me as much attack speed as possible. Actually, you know, they might just be better off as magic damage and just leaving the thickets for attack speed. Okay, show me what you got. I wasn't even really paying attention to the loot that much. Kind of leaning back in my chair, chilling. Just take the highest level stuff. Alright. some some of this over here I think the rogue has the best chance of going the farthest on any given run I think you take its ability to like single target kill and you combine it with having like the magic HP as well so I don't have to worry that much about like constant healing It's just perhaps the best combo. I like the retaliate from the uh, the helmet that the warrior gets too. I think that's pretty sweet. Upgrade. All right, more and more wheat fields. We got a miner's pick. We get pebbles while passing the campfire. I mean, I think I didn't know what pebbles were last time, but these are these are pebbles. Right, show me what you got. Better amulet. Um, level four armor there, and some bigger weapons. Sure, let's just go for raw damage. Not getting the rarity because we're not really fighting the big creatures yet. Get some vampires in it, and then we'll see what's up. Nice. Just smash the mosquito. That felt good. And I'm putting them here in case I get the outpost. I'll drop it right there. And then we'll test my theory. Although, maybe they steal, you know, rare tokens. Because you can see the color briefly on the tokens. If it has like a little bit of a blue background, it's it's the uncommon. And you can see it, but I don't know if they're able to steal it as I get it as a trophy. So we're going to test that together. Okay, we'll take the level 4. Pretty much no questions asked. Let's take the level 4 boots. Man, that's it, huh? No, I guess I got a level 4 axe. How's our attack speed bonus looking? Plus 12%. We're so fast. Every time we kill these things without taking hits, we conserve our HP. We just we just go into every next round stronger and stronger. We're, I mean, we're like maxed out strength right now. Almost full HP, full potions. And we just, all we have is like crummy basic loot. All right, let's make a bandit camp right off the bat. I 
I'm going to put the Road Lantern there. Would also be great here. But I am, like I said, trying to save that for the outpost so we can test it. Alright, finally got a treasury. That's good. Oh, nice. We killed the, uh... The other guys. Oh, yes. Child of the Forest. Give it to me. Alright, and we're going to make... That... Now let's start making a new mountain up here. No, let's make it up here. Not a new mountain exactly, but you know what I mean. Don't like the goblin camp placement. That's no good. Oh, skeleton archers. How do we make that? Hold on. How do we make that? Is it because they're next... What the heck? I don't even know what happened. Archer, okay, not finished. May resurrect as a Shattered Skeleton, got it. And Rawbone takes 70% less damage from archers. So if there were Goblin Archers here somehow, I guess they would take less damage? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Would have been nice to get a Wolf Rat in this particular fight. The hardest one we've had so far, apparently. Alright, we made a village. Alright, Elite Bandit, let's wreck him. I said, let's wreck him. Okay, quest done. Alright, give me the loot. Alright, way better amulet, nice to see that. Way better boots. Two tiers up and uncommon. Um, definitely some big weapon upgrades here. Scimitar. And just a standard sword there. And a bit more HP too. I'm happy to be fighting the bigger and badder enemies. Alright, we've got the outpost. Boom. No training dummy this round. Oh, thank god we got the wolf rat here. Gonna be able to kill the mosquitoes, I think, pretty much every time before they explode on their seventh hit. 200 damage is a lot of damage. Alright, let's get these kills. Don't let them escape. Yes. We want those trophies. And when I'm looking, right now I'm looking at the trophy bag. It looks like they both went in, they were both, but they were blue. We didn't get anything rare, I don't think. Alright, 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 alright. I don't... Uh, let's fight it. Just please give me a wolf rat. We did not get a wolf rat. And we enraged them all, but we confused one of them. And he resurrected. This was like the worst scenario in every regard. He resurrected. We didn't get a wolf rat. And we killed the goblin leader last. And we used all of our potions. That was horrible. Okay, I'll take this. Thank you, good quest item. I feel like I don't often get good quest items, because I think they're so tied to the enemy level. Like, I'm not likely to get, like, the really high level stuff. I'm just going to keep building attack speed. 34% attack speed seems like it's just what we want. Okay. Okay, we have some choices here. I'll do that. But do I want a level 6? I mean, it's, a, it's like 180 HP. Yeah, I guess we take that. We probably take that too, to be honest. I really don't like that placement of the goblin camp. I'm happy we got to see skeleton archers. start getting this around there just to guarantee that we can get the loot. I'm going to delete it and hope that the next one we get spawns in a more like auspicious area. Alright, another trait. Cross your fingers for something good. 
Upon killing an enemy hero, receives one stained glass charge. This is the one we unlocked in the last episode. Upon killing an enemy, hero receives... We need some commas in here. Receives one stained glass charge, which can protect him with 20% chance. Let's take that. Sucks when we put storm temples everywhere. Which is why we probably won't do that. Hmm. Let's place this here. And I can always put another swamp there. Put some uh some meadows, not meadows, um wheat fields on either side of that. And then those guys can help us fight those things. But here we go, we're gonna test it again. I'm gonna be trying to keep my eye on it. Blacksmith's hammer, cool. You know what, I'm just gonna pop it. And we were rewarded. That is an upgrade. Alright, let's try and watch, if we can. I'm gonna put the vampire here as... here, as well. No, here is good too. Anywhere else where I would like to put a vampire? I don't know. I don't want to make him too strong yet. I feel like we haven't quite gotten our footing. Damn, I, I missed it. We're gonna watch the next one. Alright, he escaped, so we didn't get a chance to really test. Another forest. Okay. Field there. And our bonus to attack speed is currently plus 23%. Probably all completely from forests and such. And once we go around this pass, assuming we don't take a ton of damage here, we're gonna fill up our potions mostly. I could see us adding a vampire mansion here. Because the scarecrows are going to get rid of it anyway. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Feels like gambling or something every time we do that. Um, yeah, this is... I mean, we're going to take a level 9. That's big time evasion. Gives me defense and attack speed. Magic damage and attack speed. Magic damage, critical damage. Let's do that. And then roll. Really not really not great upgrades that time. Alright, help me out, boys. I'm watching the bag. Okay, it didn't look like I got anything spectacular. Alright, let's convert that. It looked like we reflected the magic damage that time. From the mirror, I think we still have the mirror equipped, or maybe we removed it in exchange for that knife. Kind of starting to run together a little bit. Let's, um, cemetery here. Forest and forest. Alright, elite. All right, eyes on the bag, eyes on the bag. It escaped. They both escaped. I want my theory to be correct because I want to have an excuse to use these. These outpost cards. I don't want them to suck. I don't know what that effect was. I need to hover over those guys next time. Um, a swamp? Yeah, I'll put one there.
We're even taking home some more of these books. These books of memory so we can use them to get more lore if we want. Yay for the lore. Alright, 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 alright. So, I see a level 11 weapon. There's no doubt in my mind that's coming in. That's huge DPS increase. And then we probably just have to take this one as well. And I'm seeing level 7 chest pieces. Yeah. Okay. Not exciting. We're wearing all commons. We're wearing all commons, but they're way higher level. This is where that... That particular uh, trait comes in that allows me to get fewer items, but they're all of higher level. Alright, alright. Let me know in the comment section, by the way, guys. I know there's, you know, maybe 30, 40 of you that watch this. Let me know if you know better than me, like... Because I don't want to be, I don't want to be wrong. You know what I mean? Like I, I'd love to know the truth of what's what's happening. And if I have these, you know, I'm kind of asking these questions out loud for the sake of, you know, maybe you're thinking the same thing, or maybe we're trying to like pick up on the nuances of the game together. But if you do know the answer, and you're yelling at your screen like you stupid dummy, you should know this. Like, let me know. I, I would love to know. This is painful. Let's get out of here as fast as possible. Jesus, we could have took a lot of damage there. Could take a lot of damage here, too. We killed the elite this time. The quest... Questy boy. And man, those guys took a lot of hits for us. Damn, they spawned right there. How strong are you right now? 194 HP, decent damage, okay. Damn, didn't get that one though. Look at the archers. I don't know why they're running... So this is Wasteland, this is Wasteland. I don't know why it's spawning... The archers here. Ah, I forgot to click on him. Okay. Where can I adjust? Where might I need adjustment? Maybe here? Maybe here? That feels right. And I might put a vampire deal down there. Here. And we can just beat these dudes. Alright, we got that quest done and we picked up an alchemist shelf. That's the first time I've seen this one. Plus one to the max number of potions. That is pretty good. So after we get the bigger, uh, the next tier upgrade for the herbalist, we could end up um, with, you know, let's say we equip that. Six, seven. So seven potions? I mean, that's that seems pretty impressive compared to what we're currently rocking. So let's take the, the next tier up boots. We're going to take the three levels upgrade on our armor for sure. We're losing a little bit of, like, raw stats in exchange for, like, some additional stats here. And nothing in terms of weaponry right now. What's the next trait we can get? Picky lowers the quality of items. I mean, this is what we were talking about. Or we can get a resurrection charge. I like that, too. I'm gonna take the resurrection. I think it may be, perhaps... It's, I think it's way less relevant on the Necromancer, because the Necromancer is very momentum-based. If the Necromancer dies and comes back to life, it still has to try to start all over again to summon more and more uh, skeletons. And if it can't... Let's go ahead and place this here, place this here. And if it can't, then it, like the resurrection is for nothing. It's, it's, it's never going to be able to resurrect to that point. This is bad. We needed a wolf rat here. The bat instantly spawns. Hopefully it'll make some of them miss. Oh, he came back to life. Ugh. I wonder if they can do it infinitely. Does it say? I mean, eventually they'll eat each other's corpses. So they won't come back. 
but they're way more dangerous now. That was a tough fight. We needed some of these, these orbs of expansion. Yeah, I think with the rogue, they don't take my stuff. I think I just saw a, a rarer thing go into here. Alright, I'm not messing with my attack speed. I was just sort of considering burning all of this to the ground. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I might burn some of it to the ground. Let's do that. Just because I can do it near the end of our run just to get a ton more resources. If I hold on to one. And just like that, I mean, we almost have it surrounded. And this is a pretty good placement here for another rune. Right in an area where the guys can help me. Feels good. Go team. Place that. And is that a good spot for goblins? We'll see. Probably not. And I have no way of really... The lantern placement here is pretty, pretty rough. Put those guys there. Looks like it might be another slightly long episode again. Hopefully you guys are in for that. Let's hope to get some sort of good loot. And it looks like we did get an upgrade to our amulet, so that's great. I don't know if I'm ever going to place a third Ruins. I think that might just be a bad idea. But Sleeping Ruins lie. Alright, crush them, please. I mean, we crushed them. Kill them fast, get a little bit of heals off the Vampirism before we lose our shield. Alright, they broke my shield this time. I did take a little bit of damage. I'm trying. I'm clawing back. Gotta remember though, we do have a resurrection. Damn, I forgot. I was, I'm was. i too slow every time to hover over. And we got a piece of cheese now. What does that do? 1 HP after killing an enemy. Cool. Hold, I'll mouse over it so you can read it if you want. We're getting heals from, I feel like, a lot of different sources right now. I feel like, I don't know, man. We might go the distance again. And by go the distance, I mostly mean, like, get to the boss. Level 14. Level 14 weapon as well. That's incredible. Let's take that. Level 11 amulet. Oh, there's a level 14 amulet here. I didn't even see that. My bad. And then a level 10 weapon. We lose over the axe. We lose quite a bit of DPS. We just gain, I mean, 20% attack speed is a lot. When you're talking about this much DPS, it might be worth it for 20% attack speed. It's close. I didn't run the numbers or anything, but I, I think it is close. Our evasion's at 22%, our attack speed's at 48%, plus 48%. Alright, let's kill this guy. Elite Scarecrow, buddy. I'm very confident we're going to make it around one more time. Especially with the resurrection in our back pocket. Last time we had to take this fight with no help. This time we got help, and I think we're just going to wreck him. Come on, just kill the vampire. There we go. And we can recover from this. I mean, huge loot. I'd rather not have to use too many of these potions. 
All right, there we go. Yet another forest. Thank you, Mr. Scarecrow. I'm chewing myself up with these counterattacks. The swamps might be the easiest places we have to fight in. But I think I might have taken a hit from the daytime. Instead of getting healed, I think we just got hurt. Alright, we've been waiting for that for quite some time. Attack speed up to 52%. Another village would be nice. We haven't seen one in, in a while. Could use kind of the healing. I'd probably put it right here in the corner. Ooh, looks like we made another fake village. Uh, do I give it a wheat field? Sure. Unless we Oblivion and then fix it. I don't think there's any way to... To change what's gonna happen there. Um, this might be good. Are there any spots where I feel like I really I mean this obviously this is great. I'm happy we have that here. You know what? This might be just to deal with the goblins, this might be enough of a reason. They're that big of a pain in the butt. If I get another one, I, I'm gonna put it where I originally wanted to put the first one. No, I'm not I'm not putting this. We have some tough fights. Those oh no, actually, now that I say that, this is a disaster. These things are gonna help. Nah, 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 nah. We ain't we're not playing that. We're not playing that. I feel like I just need to get around this one last time. As much as I would love to see what the boss is, I really don't want to die on the boss. And I don't think I have enough accumulated, like, boss skulls. This is terrible. Oh, I think we're just gonna die. Our evade is enormous. At... No, it's actually, it's not. It's 22%. Ugh. Well, then we lucked out. I'm gonna say, our evade is great. That's why we're not gonna die here. But no, it really wasn't great enough. Because every time we pass, we kind of leave too many of them alive still. What do we get here? Let's get Master of Fencing. We're getting wrecked by numbers. We might die here and get our resurrection. Let's see if we can get some heals off of this guy. Yep. Village help too. Man, we're still going to have our resurrection. We're going to have a couple potions. Another oblivion if we need it. You know what? I think the play is just to get rid of this. Okay. That's our quest item, but we can't really, can't really use it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see what we got. I'm seeing some definite loot increases. So it would go like this. I see... Uh, no new chest piece, sadly, but a level 15 amulet with less magic HP but an additional item. Or additional, you know, additional stat. Way more attack speed and defense. And then a 15 weapon. Man. Can we go around one more time? That's probably not great. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll get greedy. A 
We'll get greedy. There we go. I mean, we're like one-shotting stuff. Which is beautiful. Okay, okay. Show me what we got. I'll take that. I'll take this. Give me more attack speed, I guess. 51%. Ooh, what a, what a pairing here. What a grouping. Terrifying. That was so many synergies, I don't even know what they do. Come on, come on. Let's get our meadow down here. And honestly, guys, I'm just gonna finish that. We made another village. Fake village. How much do we heal in a day now? 71 HP, that's pretty good. Take the more resources. Would kind of like to see a storm temple. Another road lantern, not bad either. Weaken them there. Could put a wheat field here. I'd rather save it in case I get a real village. Oh, this could be tough. I mean, we... Uh, I guess not. We ran over him. I don't know how much life we lost there, though. Looks like we might have lost a little bit. I actually didn't mean to place that there. I was saving this one spot specifically for the Storm Temple if we got it. But say la vie. All good. Um, I'll put this here. Gargoyle is a nice chance for us to heal a little. Only 6 HP, dang. Okay, okay, that was over before it started. Alright, four of you guys. Not so bad with the Wolf Rat plus the Soldier. Three of them survived. God. This is so painful. I need to spread them out more, I guess. Alright, we got all our allies helping. We killed the quest one. Alright, let's take advantage of this time to heal. Man, we're so far away from the boss still. Once again, I, I pose the question, do we leave? Is it greedy to stay? We converted that into Count's Lands. I've got two wheat fields now. I'm gonna put one here, and then if I get a village, I'd put it here and the wheat on the other side. Show me what you got. Make me want to stay. That'd be nice. I see a 16 and a 16. No armor upgrade. A necklace upgrade. No boot upgrade. Man, with the resurrection, more potions. We're at full HP. I think we stay. Just double checking, make sure I'm not missing anything important. Let's keep going. And just like that, boom. Unfortunately, we just passed by. We have another bandit camp. We didn't necessarily want that. And another beacon. We definitely want to place that. 
Um, somewhere like here. I mean, it would give bonus attack speed to us during a boss fight. Okay, this could be scary. But we've got help. Without help, I think we just die here. Another treasury, eh? And we'll just place whatever we can find around the treasury. Because I don't think we're going to last long enough to, uh, to get picky. And then swamps. Do I want to put another swamp here? Why not? Why not indeed? If I was trying to summon the boss, I would just be placing everything everywhere I could. We have almost no free tiles left. I put that there because I don't think it'll summon anything in time to hurt us. Though it might. Man, we're not even close to another level. That sucks too. What I could do is wait till I'm like here and then drop all these things on the tiles behind me. In an attempt to summon the boss. Can't put anything there, eh? I'll put it there. Okay, little archer's just gonna get it. That was actually perfect for us, because it just gave me an opportunity to heal more. Get the kills, man. That way they're not here to help gargoyles. Alright, no wolf rat, but we did actually kill all four! Huge! Well, I'm proud of us. We did it. Um, I'm just gonna stick a village... Where am I? I'll just put the village right in front of us so I can get the heal at least. Alright, Scarecrow took the gargoyle out for me instead of the vampire this time. Probably would take at least one more time around the bin to get the, the next level. I think if we've come this far, we might as well do it correct. Because I don't think we can summon the boss even by dropping all of these things. So let's not do that. I think we're going to need more land tiles to do that. And another village, that's good. I'd much rather place a village than another, like, enemy type. Even though it'll summon a bandit here, but that's okay. It's not okay if... I, I'd like to get an oblivion, because the bandits here will encourage these things to attack me. Put that... Get a meadow down. I'll save the mountain. We'll finish that off once we pass. Holy crap. Biggest loot I've ever seen. Let's um, take a second. Make sure we don't accidentally, you know, the wrong stuff. I'm going to take the rare stuff pretty much always. Big boots there. Level 18 armor. So additional four levels higher. No weapons this time, but it's hard to complain because we literally upgraded everything else. Okay. Let's place that down, get two new ones to see. Another outpost. Do these guys help in the boss? I don't know. But I'm going to place them there anyway. And we'll test it out together.
Ooh, we didn't get any helpers this time. Is our new gear enough to make up for it? Ooh, it's looking like maybe not. We're getting hit hard. Come on, come on. Even a wolf rat would have taken so much damage off of us there. Okay, thicket. We have double meadow. And we summon the boss. All right. I am in. I'm in, but I'm scared. Because we have some pretty tough tiles ahead of us, and we have no oblivions. We have no way to manipulate the board at all. We're about to get a big heal off the, uh... This nice Count's lands, though. Ah, but then we went around and, and made Goblins Elite. Good, they're confused. That's awesome. That saved us a lot of damage. Yes, get the heals. Get the heals. Okay, rocks. At this point, we're just trying to get HP, man. Wheat field, I don't see anywhere to put it that it will do us any good. Like, there's no village next to. Yeah, and we'll just start cycling through all this stuff we don't want to place. We'll get some additional magic damage there. Ugh, I don't like that. Come on, get the kills, get the kills. Okay, another village. Really with nowhere to put it. I'm gonna stick it here. And another forest. Damn, are we gonna lose out on the last level trying to get to the boss? That feels bad. I hope that's not the case. Because I feel like everything else is set up perfectly. We just made ourselves a very difficult road. And we've had a little bit of awkward luck. We're over 2,000 HP. That's crazy. Another trait. This could be a lifesaver for us. Every 10% of lost HP gives you a 0.5% chance to instantly deal 1,000 damage. That's 1,000% damage, which would probably give us a huge vampirism lifesteal. I'm going to take that. Our attack speed is plus 95%. We're definitely hitting first, which is also minimizing the damage that we're taking. Um... There's got to be a tile here that I would like to destroy. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. We'll see. I was about to say, the day is about to pass, and then we'll see what looks scariest to us. These guys, you know, they're still there. We're going to kill this thing so fast that it's not going to matter. If I destroy this... Is that really the scariest? This one might be the scariest, honestly. If we destroy this, does it go back to a normal village? It doesn't, but at least there won't be a vampire there to help them with lifesteal. I don't know, that might not have been the best choice we could have made, but it wasn't perhaps the worst choice. I thought about destroying this one, but I thought maybe we'd be able to attack fast enough to make it not an issue. And we're gaining HP from a lot of these fights. Like this one. That was just a straight up net gain in HP. This one as well. Four, yeah, right there we did the Mega Crit, and we got 49 HP from that, I think. What was this again? Shoe Nails? Basically gives us a weak thorns. Come on. We just took 280 damage. That hurt. Nice. 
99% HP of attack speed at Sari is what we have. Would be nice to get additional evasion. I don't know how the boss functions. Alright guys, wish me luck. We're going in hurt with no potions. Alright, not so scary when these guys aren't elite. Do we do it? Do we pull the trigger? I think we do it if we beat the boss, not before. I want to have the bonus attack speed. Probably over the magic damage. Because I could burn this whole thing. Or like this whole thing. I don't remember. Do we get the heal when we go back to the campfire? Oh god. Know your place, dog. Not the most polite greeting I've heard. Oh, excuse me. I wasn't talking to you. My loyal hounds like to fool around sometimes. Keeping discipline is important. Woof. And as for you, my little hero, know your place, dog. Who the hell are you? Oh, well, let me see. Sometimes the need arises to kill the whole herd in the pen, but not without a reason, of course. And as you start killing them, a couple of bulls break the fence and escape into the forest. But that won't do. You need to kill every one of them. That's the point, you know. And that is where the hunter comes in. He will track down every rebellious bull and shoot it. So don't even try talking to me about politeness, my little hero. How polite... Is it of you not only to avoid world annihilation, but to resist this magnificent process? I've heard enough of this kind of talk. I beg your pardon? All of you have this wonderful and profound motivation to participate in this cataclysm, and every one of you ignores the fact that we all want to keep living. It stinks to be exterminated, you know? Frankly speaking, I don't give a damn. I just enjoy hunting. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'll feed the remains of your world to my hounds. They'll eat it all in one bite, as if their stomachs were black holes. I hope you're as bad at hunting as you are at jokes. Never mind, you'll get my joke very soon. Get him. All right, let's uh, let's see what's up with this guy. 2,324 HP, kennel, damage is increased by 100%, and 30% max HP is healed after the death of an ally. Ugh, so after we kill the dogs, he gets stronger. Hunter's Horn fills the hound's attack bar by 50% instead of every second attack. And then Star Gunpowder forces the hero to stop attacking and attack another target instead. And then the Hounds, same deal, death of an ally, and they jump. Escapes to the Astral Plane after three hits and forces the hero to attack another target. Returns after three attacks and deals a critical hit for massive damage. So the guard does help us, but our dog didn't show up. So that sucks. <laughs> that sucks pretty bad. But we're smacking this dude. But he's also hitting me super duper freaking hard. I'm gonna get a resurrection. I killed him! I think I hit him for a, the thousand percent hit. But I still have to kill the dogs. Resurrect. Oh my god, did we just do it? Oh my gosh, we did it on the first try with the rogue. Rogue OP, man. Ha ha ha! Oh, that was so much fun. What a shame. Cornered by my own target and killed. Now tell me everything you know. Oh, please. You don't really think that this is the moment when I acknowledge your power and tell you all I know out of sheer respect, do you? I'm dying here, you know. It's not a great time for revelations. And also, you've killed my hounds, you bastard. You think I feel good about that? Don't confuse your motivation with mine. I hope you don't have this annoying habit of coming back to life unharmed, do you? Right now, while I'm still dying, a new body has already been made for me, in the heart of the greatest black hole. So yes, I'll be back. Don't think that everything is so simple. My hunt shall continue, and there's no place in the universe where I couldn't track you down. You don't have to make things so complicated. I'm not going anywhere, and I'm not going to hide. I feel better knowing that you're wasting your time fighting me instead of destroying other worlds. I hear the sound of a horn and the barking of my loyal hounds. A new hunt begins. A new hunt? These guys are a real nuisance. They give me hope, though. They wouldn't waste their time on me if I wasn't a real threat to their goal. For whom the horn tolls is the achievement I just got. Very nice. And we are 1,000% leaving. So, do I want all of this loot, which I could probably use, or do I want to take one of his traits here? Their own peril. Hero has a 60% chance to reflect a ranged shot into a random enemy. That's kind of cool. 
Lightning fast, a hero or a skeleton have a 20% chance to perform a quick 3 hit combo with each hit dealing 50% damage. That's good. And then blind fury once per battle. Hero does 4 hits with double the speed when the health falls below 20%. I like lightning fast. I think that's huge. And we will retreat with all of this loot. And see how the game changes. Is there a chapter 4? What happened? Why the shocked face? Because it was nearly torn off. I still don't quite get how I've ended up victorious. There, there. I think you're underestimating yourself. No, I'm serious. That hunter. He had black holes as hounds. I think they can swallow whole planets. And the hunter's weapon. The stars went out behind me after every shot. With all that power, he could destroy an entire galaxy. And I'm sure he has already done so a few times. I don't understand how I could be a match to fight him. And I'm afraid that I'm realizing it's true for both the Lich and the Priestess as well. Oh no, don't tell me this encounter has broken you. Look, this place is becoming better. You mustn't give up. What are you talking about? It's quite the opposite. I'm fully confident that we will succeed. It's not just a coincidence. I have the power to fight this evil and I have a chance to beat it. A chance to beat it, huh? Well, guess luck is on your side, eh? Okay. So let's go into building. Can I build any of the new stuff? I can't build the river steel still. I can't build the alchemist tent still. I can build the lumberjack, although it's probably the one that I'm the least curious about. Uh, I'll probably build it anyway, just to make some progress. I'm going to build it eventually, so I might as well build it now. Um, it gives me a splinter for every completed loop, but no more than the amount of tiles around the lumberjack's hut. Unlocks the ability to craft furniture. Sure. I'll put it there. So this is how things are. Earlier we managed to stabilize a small part of a forest. Now it's almost a real part of our world. You can enter it and return safely without fear of disappearing from reality. You can even chop some wood there, but not all at once. Consider it our mutual triumph. The keeper of the forest is not very talkative, but he knows what he's doing. While you're away, he'll supply us with wood. wood, wood, And he's also a decent craftsman if needs be. So I can come here and now I can craft furniture. But I'm so, you know, kind of terribly uninterested in that whole process. Spending resources I barely have enough of to make things. I will come here though and make... What do you give me? This gives me a revive. I'm taking that. That feels great. So we have a standard like one resurrection every fight. I was looking at the people. At first they were lying down and then they started getting up. Walking, bringing coffee. Convenient. I can look after you too. You don't need to lie down. You must go. Yeah, I think that was a good investment. But anyway guys... That is going to be it for me today. We see that there is indeed a chapter 4. Ugh. And the enemies have more abilities. And more bonus strength. Oh. Do we just try again with the rogue next time and just beat him again? Basically, first shot. We unlock the temporal beacon. It, its light is so bright that it makes you forget about the passing of time. Speeds up time by 50% within its range. Can spawn time watchers which are afraid of vampires within its aura. That's interesting. Let's take that down. And let's maybe... I don't know. Just put something weak up there. I want to see what the extra abilities of the spiders are. I'm going to take out the ruins perhaps. And... Perhaps also the swamp. And go grove, blood grove. And then whenever we come back next time we'll try this. But guys, that's it for me today. Another successful, long episode. Hope y'all enjoyed it. My name is Brett, channel's Good Talk Gaming, and as always, y'all, I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.